Hello my lovely people, if your computer gives you this error, no boot device found, press any key to reboot the machine, then please follow this tutorial to the end. To fix this, if your computer is connected to any USB drive, unplug them as soon as possible to avoid a conflict with your boot order, which would result in your computer booting from external devices rather than the internal drive first. Now let's start. When I turn it on, I get this error message. To fix this, I'll turn it off and turn it on again and immediately start tapping on the BIOS key combination to enter into the BIOS settings. Dell is normally F2, yours might be different. I have provided a link in the description to guide you to locate your computer BIOS key combination. After you enter into the BIOS settings, Check and see if you can locate the presence of your hard drive or SSD drive. This option is not for all laptops. After, look for the option to enable you to load default settings. You can press F9 or navigate the arrow keys to the exit tab and choose load default settings. After, save the changes or press F10 to save and exit. Now the computer will restart and see if that was able to fix your problem. If that step did not fix the problem, then go to the boot tab and press enter and ensure your hard drive or SSD is on the top of the list. Do this for both legacy and UEFI mode. After, go to the boot list option and change either legacy to UEFI or vice versa. Now, press F10 to save the changes and exit. After, see if this suggestion was able to fix your problem. In case your hard drive or SSD did not show up in the BIOS settings, then please follow these steps. Then I will advise you disassemble your laptop and check for loose connections. This could happen due to some form of vibration or fall. Reattach the drive more firmly and if there are any cables attached to it, ensure it is connected properly. Replace the case. And after try to boot it up again. But if your drive gets detected by your computer and you can't still boot Windows from all the steps mentioned, then you have two options. You can either copy your important files from your drive and after do a clean Windows installation, or just go ahead and do the installation if you have your information packed up. You can follow this video tutorial and copy your files from your broken computer. You can also follow these videos to do a clean windows installations. If not then, the last suggestion for this video will be to update your computer BIOS, though it comes with some form of risk, but that may be your last resort. You can follow this video tutorial on how to update your computer BIOS. I hope one of these suggestions was able to help you out. If you find value from this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. Also share with anyone that might need it. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell icon for more video updates. Thanks for watching and have a great day.